For 35, Sean M. Geiger v. Lydia Hubble. All right, everybody involved in this matter, please come forward and place my court off to the right of your right hand. In just a minute, let's get Ms. Hubble up here. All right, Ms. Hubble, if you'll place my court off to the right of your right hand, please. All right, I'll let you have a seat. All right, counsel. Good morning, Your Honor. We were here last time online, motion to extend the order of protection. We went into third call and had to continue it. But the initial order of protection was granted June of 2015. Does Your Honor recall the facts of the case, or would you like me to do a brief summary? I think I recall. When we were last here, your client was on the stand, and he was trying to identify documents that Ms. Hubble had put on social media about him. The problem is they're voluminous, and it's hard to find what offensive language there are. There is in the various postings, and the court continued it to give you all an opportunity to go through and highlight what he was complaining about. So why don't we do this? I think, as I understand it, he's requesting that the order of protection be extended for, what, five years? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Let's get him back on the witness stand. Your Honor, I would actually, if I could, call Ms. Hubble as my first witness, if the court would allow that. Ms. Hubble, if you'll be kind enough to come around and have a seat on the witness stand. Good morning, Ms. Hubble. Could you please state your name for the court? Lydia Hubble. And, Ms. Hubble, are you aware of the order of protection that was initially entered in June of 2015? Yes. And are you aware that an extension of that order of protection was granted in June of 2016? Yes. Do you have several Facebook accounts that you maintain? I don't know how many accounts. I have a few. I have one. Do you have a Facebook account where you are referring to yourself as Lydia A. Hubble? Yes, I do. And do you post on that page? Yes, that's the one I post on most. Does anyone else post on that page on your behalf? On my behalf? I'm not sure. Can you have something specific? I'll start that question. I'll show you some posts. Are you aware that the order of protection in June of 2015 had instructed you to keep from posting about Mr. Goddard on social media? I think so. I think I don't have it in front of me. I am going to show you a Facebook post. This is a post from the Lydia A. Hubble page. Is that correct? No, it's not. Is it a post by Lydia A. Hubble? It is a post by Lydia A. Hubble, but it is not on a public page. It's in a private group. Okay. And where would this have been posted? In a private group called My Darling Delora. And is that a group you created? Yes, it is. Is this a post that you posted? Yes, it is. Okay. I would ask you to turn your attention to the second paragraph. You said, I plan to just sign her back out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Oh, you're talking about the middle of the second paragraph. I, mm-hmm. I see where you're at. Mm-hmm. He said, I plan to sign her out and then sign her back in, even though Sanan would see what happened. I'm not trying to spite him or outsmart him. I just want to meet my daughter's needs, and he is getting in the way, and she is suffering because of him. Did you make this post? Yes. And was that on September 10th of 2016? Yes, looks like it. Now, help me with this, counsel. Uh, is this referring to the party's child? This is referring to my client. Um, the initial order of protection said she was not to refer to him on social media, Your Honor. The first few posts we have where she's referring to him directly, then we get into the posts where she is encouraging others to contact and harass him. Trying to understand, is she talking about checking the child out of daycare? She is. And does she have the court order right to do that? She does not. All right. Does he have custody of the child? He does. All right. Go on. I would move to submit this as Exhibit A, Your Honor. All right. Mark it as the first exhibit. Can I get a piece of paper and make notes? I beg your pardon? Can I get a piece of paper and make notes for what I'm going to come back to in there? Sure. You have a pen, Ms. Hubbard? Oh, I do over there. Okay, we'll give you Thank one. you. Thank you. That's fine. Here you go. Go on, come. I'm going to show you another Facebook post, Ms. Hubble. Hold on a second, please. And is this a post that was posted by Lydia A. Hubble? Yes. Is this a post that you posted? Yes. Do you see in the post where it says, Delara stayed home yesterday because her father wasn't feeling well? Yes. Do you see I mean, later? Unfortunately, I can't see it. Can you tell me where it is? I've got the highlighted copy. Oh, I apologize, Ryder. The highlighted copy was for you. It's on the... Uh, Halfway through the second paragraph, the paragraph that starts with day before yesterday. All right, and what is the language you're referring to? It says, well, I think the preponderance of evidence will show that Delara stayed home yesterday because her father wasn't feeling well. Okay, thank you. Go on. And then, Ms. Hubble, in the third paragraph... Did you also write, I didn't find out if Delara was at school today or not, but I believe Sanan determined to keep her out of school in order to keep me from seeing her at lunch, and he did keep her out of school until he got confirmation that the school would not allow me to have contact with her. So that should be an unexcused absence. I see that. Okay. And you're not denying that you posted this on social media, is that correct? I, this, this also is in a private group that's very limited friends and family. The question uh, is, is it social media? It is social media. Thank you. Go on. And was this posted after the order of protection was in place? Yes. Move to make that exhibit two, Your Honor. We mark exhibit number two. Okay, Ms. Hubble, I'm showing you another post. Is this another post by Lydia A. Hubble? Yes, it is. And do you admit that you posted this post? Yes, I did. And would that have been September 24th of 2016? Yes, I believe. It, does, it doesn't say uh, the year, but I, I believe it is uh, 2016. Okay. I mean, do you see yes. where it says September 24th at the top? Yes, but it doesn't have the year. And do you see at the bottom of the page where it says that it was screenshotted on September 27, 2016? Yes, but that doesn't say. And do it, you? It doesn't say when when I made that post. Reading the context of the post, Ms. Hubble, do you believe that this is a post that you posted in the year of 2016? I believe so. Okay. This post 
says some ideas, and you give some ideas, presumably, about what people can do. Number three, reach out directly to Sarah Rice and and Dolores' dad. He hates confrontation, but he needs it. He will be mad at me and will try to make things worse for me, but there really isn't any way he can. I have reached out to total strangers, and total strangers have reached out to me, and sometimes it is really helpful. And then do you see on the next page where you wrote, we have to tell them what we think about how Delara and I were treated. I don't see that. It's in uh, all caps about... uh, Oh, yeah, okay, I see it there. Yeah, I see it now. Do you deny making this post? No, I don't deny making this post. Do you deny that it was on social media? Nope. Do you deny that you were encouraging people to reach out to Mr. Goddard? Uh... I don't deny anything I say in this. I move to make that exhibit three, Your Honor. Exhibit three. Have you had a second to review this post? Uh, yeah. Was this another post posted by Lydia A. Hubble? Yes. Would this have been you that posted it? Yes. And was it posted on social media? Yes, in a private group. Was it posted on September 16th? Uh, yes. Okay. And reading the context, what year do you believe that this was posted in? I believe it was... Um I believe it was 2016, September 16, 2016. Are you willing to stipulate that it was 2016? Yes. Okay. Do you see in the post, uh, in the third paragraph, where you say people are committing suicide and murder over these kind of injustices? I won't be killing anybody, but if I turn up missing or dead under questionable circumstances, we know who to point the finger to. What was your question? Do you see where it says yes, that? Yes, I do see that. And when you say we know who to point the finger to, who is it that we would point the finger to? Um, I guess that's up to somebody's speculation. Well, you said we know, not not it's up for speculation. We know. So who is it that you know to point the finger to if you show up missing or dead? Uh, Your Honor, I object. I believe that calls for speculation. Your Honor, it doesn't in any way call for speculation. uh, I can't. I can uh, not vouch for what anybody else would say. I know what I'm admitting what I said there. We understand you're admitting what you said, but you're saying we know. You're including yourself. Well, including myself. And what did you know? Including myself. What did you know? I would I would say that if I turned up dead, missing, or dead under questionable circumstances. I believe that, that the primary suspect should be Delara's father. Thank you. Do you see in the next paragraph where you say, I am grieving and angry. I am also determined to do everything I can to call attention to the corruption and encourage others to work with me to restore and maintain the integrity of the judicial system. Yes. Your Honor, I would move to admit this as Exhibit 4. I apologize. I have one more question about this. Do you see in paragraph 6 where you say, I promise to do everything I can to stop this so that my children won't have to suffer this kind of pain as parents? In all caps. I do see that. Move to admit this to book 4. I've handed you another post. Is this another post by Lydia A. Hubble? Yes, it is. And do you not deny that you made this post? Uh, I do not 
Denied. Ian was this posted on September 13th. Yes, it is. Reading the context of this post and the date it was screenshotted, are you willing to stipulate that it was posted September 13th of 2016? Uh, yes. You see in the first paragraph where you say, I think it's also time I notified my child's father's parents about what he is doing to their grandchild. Yes, he, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I see, I see that. He may well lie to them, but I have contacts who can get the truth to them. I see that too. I'll tell you one thing. If my adult child was abusing my grandchildren in any way, I would absolutely not hesitate to take whatever steps necessary to protect my grandchild. I see that. I have sent a text to one family member, but I expect that particular family member also hates me more than they love this innocent child who is being mistreated. Did you post that as well? Yes. When you say you have sent a text to one family member, do you mean one of Mr. Gadare's family members? Yes, I do. And when you sent that text, were you trying to inform her about what you believe to be as his, mis, his bad acts? I don't remember exactly what I sent, but I, I, uh, uh, I don't, I don't have the text in front of me. I, I don't know what it said, but it, it had something to do with, uh, with my daughter and how she's being affected. Um, Your Honor, I'd move to admit this Exhibit 5. You mark your Exhibit 5. All right, Counsel, do you have any idea how much longer you'll be? I only have a couple additional posts, Your Honor. We just want to get them on the record because I have a feeling they'll be in. All right, well, here's my problem. I'm fixing to have to take a break and go down to a function downstairs, so we'll put one more in and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay. Can you please review this post, Ms. Hubble? Okay. And was this posted by Lydia A. Hubble? Yes. And was this posted in the My Darling Delara Facebook group that you created? Yes. Um, was this posted on September 13th? Uh, yes. Reading the context and the date that it was screenshotted, are you willing to stipulate this was September 13th of 2016? I believe so, yes. Okay. And in paragraph one, you say, if, you say, well, I would have been within the law if I had not shared this publicly to my timeline. Does that mean you did share this post publicly to your timeline? Um, I think I accidentally did, and then I, because I was trying to, to follow the order, and my understanding was I wasn't supposed to share publicly, so as soon as I realized I'd done that by mistake, I reposted it, deleted the other one, and reposted this one in the, in the private group. Still on social media, is that correct? Yes. And then do you say, if my adversary saw it, they could have me arrested for violating the order of protection? Yes, I see that. Do you go on later in the post in paragraph two to say, I think people should write him before they start protesting publicly with his name on signs? Yes. And who is it that you think people should write to? Um, well, I was referring to uh, Delara's father. Okay. Um, can you turn to the second page? <coughs> okay. It looks like the sixth paragraph. Do you see where you said, anyone who wants to write Delara's dad and or his lawyers, I'll get you their addresses? Yes. And do you not deny that you posted that? No, I don't deny it. Okay. And then in the bottom paragraph, do you see where you wrote, harassment is not something done with a legitimate purpose, which is constitutionally protected activity. He feels harassed, but he is breaking the law by lying and stealing and cheating, and our community is suffering because of it. Do you acknowledge in this paragraph that you recognize that Mr. Gadir feels harassed because of your actions? Uh, yes, he feels harassed because he doesn't want me in my daughter's life. And I and continue to pursue my relationship with my daughter. Move to admit this Exhibit 6, Your Honor. Be marked to Exhibit 6. All right, Counsel, we're going to have to take a break at this time. Um, I'm going to do the best I can to be back here 
no later than quarter after the hour. So I apologize to folks, but the presiding judge has asked all the other judges to attend uh, this function. So uh, we'll be back here, and uh, everybody please be back in place quarter after the hour. All right.